A reading from the book of Proverbs. Those who love me, I will also love. And those who seek me will find me. With me are riches and honor, wealth that endures, and righteousness. My fruit is better than gold, even pure gold and my yield is better than choice silver. On the way to righteousness, I walk along the paths of justice, granting wealth to those who love me and filling their treasuries. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. One of the things I enjoy doing is shopping for gifts for people. Now, I don't like getting a gift because it's easy to find or reasonable price or a common item that seems to be on every gift list, like a pen or a body fragrance or a popular CD or a book that's on the bestseller list. No, I I really prefer to take my time looking for something that I believe the person I love really needs or could definitely use. I'm not simply looking for something. I'm looking for something with the person that I love in mind. For instance, years ago I was shopping for a Christmas gift for my mother at the mall and I went to Bloomingdale's. Now, at first, the first thing you walk into, as you know, in most department stores is the fragrance department. And while numerous fragrances smelled lovely, somehow I knew that none of them were my mother's world. So then I went to jewelry and then on to kitchenware and at figurines and ladies' purses. And after about two and a half hours, I don't know about you, but I got weary looking and I decided that I would come again the next day. I was confident that I would eventually find what I was looking for. It would be something I would know, not simply by seeing it, but it would involve my heart, because when I saw what I had been searching for, my heart would tell me, finally, that I had found it. It would speak for the person that I love. The next day, I went back into the store and I started from another doorway and I came into an area where they were selling picture frames and suddenly I remembered that I had taken a lovely picture of my mother and father several years before that. They had been just finished celebrating their 65th wedding anniversary and it was the day that I was leaving and they were walking away from me and as they were walking away, They had their arms wrapped around each other's waists. And it was such a tender moment seeing them walking away with their arms around each other that I took a picture which seemed to me to capture them on the pathway of 65 years of marriage and walking close and intimately with one another. And so I suddenly realized that I should buy a picture frame that would be able to put this wonderful moment for memory. And my heart told me this was perfect. And my mother's response was, what a perfect gift. One morning several weeks ago, I was awakened earlier, earlier than usual, because I was worried about something and I was restless with thoughts and I couldn't get back to sleep. I know that all of you out there know what I'm talking about. But I've learned how to deal with my own anxiety in these early morning bouts. I get out of bed and rather than toss and turn, I will simply sit in front of the icon of our Mother Perpetual Health, which is right next to my bed and I will pray. Why? Because I believe that Mary will find what it is that I need at this particular moment. 
that she will give to me the gift that I can't find by myself. And the gift she knows that I need most at any particular moment is a grace that I've been looking for. In the book of Proverbs, which I just read from, there's a beautiful verse which I love to apply to Mary. And the verse would, it goes like this, those who love me, I will love, and those who find me, I will find. Now, it used to be translated, and I don't know how, like this. They that in the early morning watch for me shall find me. Another translation of those words, shall find me, believe it or not, reads, shall find grace, which implies, of course, that to find Mary is to find grace. St. Bernard of Clairvaux takes that image a step further and urges us, seek grace and seek it through Mary, the finder of grace. I love that term, the finder of grace. They should add it to the litany. Mary is the finder of grace, carefully searching for that particular grace, that particular gift from God she knows that we need at any particular moment. Looking for the grace which her heart will tell her will truly help us whether it's to find our way, whether it's to free us from temptations we face, whether it's to assure us that we are not alone or to encourage us not to be afraid. Now, on that particular morning, when I woke up before I started to pray, I had a number of things I wanted. I wanted a clear answer to the direction that I should go with my problem, I wanted courage because I was afraid to face the conflict that was awaiting me. I wanted some wisdom to enlighten my confusion. And believe it or not, I wanted some more sleep. But Mary, knowing really what I needed, gave me what I didn't realize was most important. And she gave it to me during that time of prayer. She gave me comfort and peace. Those are the graces that she knew that I needed at that particular moment. Because in the comfort of her loving embrace, do you know what happened? My fears faded away. And my energy, which was nearly drained by my mind's early morning madness, was restored. Believe it or not, even doubled, so much so that I no longer had a desire to go back to sleep, but I wanted to get up and I begin my day because I was so full of gratitude instead of fear. The peace of Christ that she brought to me calmed the tempest of my mind and gave me assurance that all would be well. And it was, it was. Mary, whom we say is full of grace, also searches for the grace that we sinners have lost, the grace we can't find without her help. St. Alphonsus, the founder of the Redemptress, encourages all of us who have lost grace to go to Mary and they will find grace with her. He tells us to confidently urge her, Mary, give me back the grace I have lost and what you have found because Mary always finds what she seeks and will not fail us. St. John Chrysostom has a beautiful prayer, and it goes like this. Hail, Mother of God and Mother of us all. Pray always to Jesus for us. Find for us the mercy we need. Help us to find the wonderful things Jesus has prepared for those who love him. I often think that that's probably why we pray that simple but powerful prayer over and over again. Hail Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now. What we're really saying is help us sinners at this very moment. Give us the grace 
we need at this moment. Find for us what we can't find. You are our mother. You know what's best. And we sinners, 